We are going to allow one more person to stay here. They've Tiffany, you almost got in a fight with everyone in this place, and that's the truth, but I'd like you to come down here if you would. Come here. I definitely don't want to go home tonight, and it makes me a little nervous about tonight's elimination because I feel like I still haven't gotten as much time in with them as I want. Well, I'm nervous as crap. Um, <laughs> are we all? We're not going away. I would hope not. Babe, we're too pretty. I'm really nervous about tonight's elimination because I know I am one of the girls that he hasn't had that much time to get to know. And it's making me really, really nervous. We're way prettier than half these girls. We have to make it. I'm nervous about elimination tonight because I don't drink and I don't party. And that's a major part of Brett's life. And I think that that's one thing that we don't have in common. And I'm a little worried about that. Ain't nothing but chicken wing. I'm not going anywhere. I am not leaving this house anytime soon. I'm nervous about Brett eliminating six people right now because I don't think he had enough time to figure out which six to eliminate yet. It's just not fair. It's not fair. The two girls that need to go home is Rodeo because she's too manly. I'm, I'm scared I'm gonna get fucking beat up. And Tiffany because she's a crackhead. I would definitely love to see Tiffany. She's a sloppy mess and she doesn't deserve to be here. Let me just say this to everyone here tonight. Each of you has extremely different personalities, which is way cool. But all of you have something about you that is absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, we have got 15 passes. We've got 21 girls. And I have to eliminate six. John, you hand me the first pass. This girl tonight, you got a heart and soul that I absolutely fell in love with. Someone I felt really intense about keeping here tonight. Really had a strong feeling about and a super hot body. Rodeo, will you please come down here? When he said rodeo, I felt like I was on a cloud nine. No one could bring me down. And now I know that I am meant to be here. And I know this is meant to be. Would you stay here in this house with us? Well, when I say us, not so much John, but me. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> John's my buddy, but he ain't that kind of buddy, right? <laughs> Will you stay here in this house with me? Would you rock my world? I'd be honored. Thank you. Seriously, why you got to do this? Dude, if you pick me, I'm going to feel like you're actually comparing me to a rodeo. And I know, man. I found this beautiful young girl to have lovely hot breasts. Heather, would you Yay. please come down here? Excuse me. I was really pumped because I was number two. So once I got my little badge, I just kicked back and it was great. Jess, would you come down here? I was a third name called. Don't know if that has anything to do with, you know, the stands, but I was actually pretty excited about it. Felt good about it. Would you stay in this house and rock my world? For sure. Awesome. And I won't mess up the hair. Don't. Sam, will you come down here? You're welcome. Give me a big old hug. Magdalena, would you come down here, please? I feel excited I get picked, but at the same time, I know that this ain't shit. I mean, this is first elimination. This is, like, not even a competition yet. This girl is just plain out wild. Nothing wrong with the party, but there's got to be a little more after the bump bump, you know? So, <laughs> having said that, Brandy M., will you please come down here? After I've made it through the elimination, I felt like I could breathe. But you know what? Another one will be coming right back up again. So uh, hopefully, you know, he gets to know who I am and I get to know him a little bit more so I make a good impression on him so I can stay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. I'm going to lay it on you. Faith, would you come down here, please? You feeling good? You want to be here? Absolutely. Tomorrow, if you could come on down here, please, with the hot red dress, which you may have to keep on every day from here on out, all right? Mia, you're beautiful. You stay here and rock my world. Absolutely. Hot, beautiful Aaron. My heart was pounding, and I was just, when he finally called my name, it was like this weight was lifted off. Would you stay in this house? Of course, I would love to. Oh. 
This girl, I, I, I need to get to know more. Dallas, will you stay here and rock my world? You know it. All right, girl. <laughs> Tawny, would you come down here, please? Hell yeah, girl. Here we go. This is a girl that struck me right from the get-go, that loves music, wants to hang. Lacey, would you come down here, please? Mwah. Christina, would you come down here, please? Thank you for breaking up all the fights. <laughs> I got the guns. You, you, know? <laughs> you do got guns. Yeah, I don't mind sharing. Might be a little bit of a handful, but what guy doesn't like two handfuls? I've got one pass left, and this decision came really, really, really hard. So I'm standing there, I'm like, what the hell is going on? He's calling out all these names, the passes are going, you know, these girls after girl, and I'm like, why you, why you? Now here's a situation where I am completely on the fence still, but at the same time, I think I just gotta get to know this person a little more. The freaked out. There's no way I'm going home. What the fuck is that? Why am I last? I've got one pass left, and this decision came really, really, really hard. All these girls are beautiful, and this was gonna be extremely tough for me to make this first elimination work. I felt that there were some of these girls that I need to feel closer to. For example, Bonnie, I thought she was really hot. Krista, I, I, I thought was beautiful. However, they were all observers, not quite as outgoing. I just want you to know that there is nothing easy about making a decision when you're talking about people's lives in a relationship. Brandy C, although a pretty girl, I just was annoyed as shit by her. She's a very aggressive girl, she's very forward. It was gonna be set on the fence whether that first night or not she was gonna go. So here we are, we got one pass, seven girls, and John, will you hit me with it? There was a little bit of good cat fighting going on and not enough time to hang with everybody. But I think I need to leave this person a little more time and, and figure out a little bit more about him. Brandy C, would you come down here? <laughs> I'm so happy that I got the last pass. I don't have to go home. I get to stay, and I guess he really does like me. Will you stay in his house? Will you let me date three or four other girls like you said you would? <laughs> Brandy C wanted to be here and she was here for me. Will you stay here and rock my world? <laughs> awesome. In my life, I know that I have uh, had many screw-ups. I've done a lot of really, really, really stupid things. Asked for much forgiveness. And as I mature and experience, <laughs> I've learned to try to forgive people and let them have a second chance. And I'm gonna cut right to the chase on this. We are gonna allow one more person to stay here. They've got no pass. They've got no bed. They're probably gonna sleep in the bathtub at this point. Maybe on the floor or one of the couches. Tiffany, you almost got in a fight with everyone in this place. And that's the truth. But I'd like you to come down here if you would. Come here. Tiffany got eliminated and she came back, so I'm pretty sure that she sucked Big John's dick, but that's okay because that's what she does for a living and I'm totally fine with that. Tonight you drank too much, I've been there many a time, <laughs> and I think you owe a lot of these girls an apology. How could Brad do this to us? He has to sentence us to living with this dumb ass crazy fucking girl. That's nuts. Why could he do this to us? You got two strikes, so don't screw up again, okay? Okay. Don't threaten me with a good time. I gave Tiffany another chance for one very simple reason. I think somewhere in there was a good person. She was just wasted. I've been there, you've been there, we've all been there. Plus, she was entertaining.